Are you feeling shy? You're looking a bit shy. Do you want to do some warm up? We should do some warm up. Here, I'll hold this because you're always like, have a new name. Yeah, yeah, I'm just like, oh, it's time for the spotlight. I was actually going to uh, say what uh, I've been learning the past two days about like being Instagram free. Oh my God, learn, hashtag learning things. Yes, yeah, so, sorry, now I'm holding it like this, but. Um, so my Instagram, um, Emer, this probably, by the time this is out, I probably still won't have it back. I could have it back. When do you think this will be out? Next week, maybe? Next week, yeah. Yeah, so basically my Instagram, um, my personal account, Emer, has been, like, banned. And I can't, I actually can't even deactivate Send it, so. unsolicited dick pics to yeah, people. Yeah, so basically I can't even deactivate it, so it's just, like, still there. And everyone's like, no. It's still there. I can see it. I'm like, no, I actually can't get into it. So you know the way people do these things where they're like, oh, you know, going off Instagram for a while. Text me and if you need me. I love that. They're the rack up the next day. Yeah, but yeah. It's yeah. so hard because if you're addicted, like now when I wanted to go off Instagram, I used to just deact. I used to actually deactivate my whole account. I can't do the whole deleting my app, but because I just go on the laptop and be like snooping. But this is the thing. So you wow, Keelan, you just hit the you hit the nail on the head of what I was gonna say. So Instagram is an addiction, right? Mm. It's an addiction that everyone has. So I have noticed. So the day For that all the apps now, if you had TikTok, the, you'd be addicted. Yeah, thank fuck I don't. The day that it got deactivated, right? I'm gonna this say, is stunning. No, it's stunning. I feel like it's going yeah, to because of the, out of these mugs. Blow I the never ball of mugs off me, like mm. sorry. Cheers. 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 This is real us when we're old and yeah, having a natter. Yeah, yeah, having a natter. Love the day that it happened, right? I thought I got hacked. So I yeah, instantly that's even scarier, It I think. was so scary Because then people can be have, like Here You know those Mammy I, I need an eye for a hotel I'm stuck Yeah <laughs> no, Oh yeah. my god I thought I got hacked I'm like The only thing I care about With my Instagram Is my work page Which is the Squid Ink page I don't care about My personal Instagram mm. But it is still really scary To think if you were hacked So I started vomiting On the night Like literally sweating Vomiting Being like Oh my god What am I going to do So then you know when people are like oh I'm going off Instagram you know t- text me in a few days and like they're still snooping or they come back in two days mm. like I physically can't go on my Instagram like mm. there is no way that I can get into it My and then people could be like oh but you have your Squid Ink I, the only accounts I follow on Squid Ink is literally like my mom, you a few of my friends and then tattoo pages like I don't mm. it's not the same it's not the same algorithm it's not it's literally yeah, it's nothing it's a different experience it's, it's nothing like I don't ever sit there and scroll on my work that's page that's why I love going on you know if you're with your fella and they're going on Instagram and you're like doing the side mm. eye not when they're texting now but watching stories and you're yeah like, you're like who oh, comes up first oh, interesting interesting mm. yeah well, Ellie and Sears, I love doing that so um, fun yeah well I have noticed that since like that it's been what two days now since I haven't had it mm. I've been going through these like weird emotions where I'm just like I can't believe that there's this app has like infiltrated so many people's brains has infiltrated my brain mm. and has made me think that I need it because I've been living my life completely as normal trigger free for the past two yeah. days and it's just like I like and don't get me wrong I do fucking anything to get it back don't get me wrong I do anything to get it back but I feel like when I if or when I get it back I'll definitely have a different approach to it because I like you think that oh if your Instagram account's gone like your life's over like maybe for you because you, you're an influencer but like for me like it doesn't matter mm. do you know what I mean it actually does not matter that's why sometimes I'm like when I'm having really bad social media imposter syndrome or whatever mm. I'm just like I don't deserve these followers like I'm literally shit like mm. I, why would anyone want to watch what I'm doing and I'm like why don't people who who don't do this as a job have Instagram because mm. it's only just turned in like maybe that's my algorithm though but everything is an ad or like people trying to show how great their life is yeah I'm like this is not why I started yeah but that's the thing and it's like I like I just look at it now and I'm like oh my god it's literally so crazy how obsessed we all are but mm. it's also I actually physically cannot access it so when I'm like I'm like you're barred I'm I'm barred but like mm. I'm on the dart or like I'm on the bus and I'm noticing I'm like so much more aware how oh, everyone's aware. on their phone everyone's st- bet into their phones there was girls on the bus yesterday being like well we all follow her at the same time and I was like oh my god this is literally all people think about Instagram mm. and like don't, don't get me wrong I'm, I am sound like a fucking hypocrite I would love to get it back because I'm just paranoid on like things for example like people messaging me and thinking I'm being rude <laughs> and not mm. replying to them but like it's actually really detoxing mm. it's really detoxing and it's like 
I'm just looking at things differently being like oh my god this is literally just an app on your phone it's it's an app mm. and it's like consuming everyone do you know I think I feel like I'm in an episode of Black Mirror when I'm looking around I'm like everyone's bed into their phones and I ha- I don't have access to this thing that everyone's bed into it is crazy though like when B say for example if we're on the dirt and she's going hey to everyone and like looking for people's attention and literally no one has even noticed that she's saying hello to her yeah it's like yeah. literally the cutest baby in the world right now is saying hello to you and you ca- you like you're not yeah. even looking up from your phone yeah 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 it's it's just it's a bit scary and i think when i get it back i think what scared me the most is my, the reaction my body had thinking the that puking. the pu- i was pu- i had a roast dinner <laughs> roast dinner and i was in puking in Ryan's toilet and like there was i literally flushed the toilet and there was peas left over i was like no. everything is gone and i was like that I was like, that is crazy. And I'm in the height of my PMDD at the moment. Oh, like, no. in the height of it. No, I actually feel good today. I feel good today. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel good today. But I'm in the height of it. And Instagram is a massive trigger for me when I'm in that height. So I'm like, this feels weirdly really good. You're like, wait a sec. I'm going to fucking put my toes in some grass right now. I'm going to go barefoot. <laughs> 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 but, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I would love to have a back just to be able to contact people. But if anyone needs me, I'm on Squid Ink. Just needed to get that off my chest because when I was on the dart here, like everyone, everyone's going to have scoliosis. They're all like this. I know, yeah. It's mad. I know, yeah. Bet into their phones. Don't get me wrong. Bet into it. Bet into it. But it's almost like a dodie. I feel like there's a direct correlation with people who had dodies and were really highly addicted to dodies and that are now addicted to vapes. Yeah. Like the disposable vapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd love to do a study on it, but it's probably already been done. And then the same thing with like the scrolling. It's like something to do with your hand, like a comfort yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like you're mindlessly scrolling, and like at the end of at the end of it, you come off Instagram always feeling like a bit shit. Like, do you know, you yeah. see something and you're like, oh, wish I was there. Mm. Oh, I wish I had that. Yeah, yeah. And I just don't have that at Mine the moment. Mine is just like, oh, I go opening the app, hoping someone has messaged me, and then there's like no new messages. Yeah, do you know, it's like <laughs> I'm like, oh. The, the only thing that's like. When I'm chatting with Squid Ink, like the only thing I care about is like being able to stay in contact with my friends. And like we we're chatting on WhatsApp now. Mm. Love WhatsApp. Like WhatsApp is a buzz. Yeah. But like my friends added me into the group chat, like with Kim and Ty and stuff. And like even like my tone has changed. It's like like with the icon, everyone's like, I can't take you silly right yeah, now. Yeah, you, yeah. you seem really serious because you're Squid Ink. <laughs> and um. Yeah, I don't know. I just have felt I've it's it's such weird emotions because it's an addiction. Because mm. you're like in one minute like my body. Are you body... going through withdrawals? Are you like going like this when you're when you're on your own <laughs> <laughs> on the toilet? You're like no. I'm literally like I keep getting like hot flushes, thinking of like oh god, I'm just paranoid that people are gonna think that I'm ignoring them. And then that's probably yeah that's the worst part of it yeah people are gonna think that I'm ignoring them well, if they message to, me when I used to deactivate my Instagram people genuinely thought I'd blocked them yeah yeah you know, and be like why did you block me and I was like I didn't yeah. they were like sure I was like, yeah Whoa. and like it's it's just that that kind of thing of like I don't know I'm more paranoid about like people being disappointed in me not replying than actually I don't like as I said there's people like Oh, oh, what are you going to do like about all the followers? Do you think I care about that right now? I'm so happy that it's not my Squid Ink page because if yeah. it was that, I'd be fucked. Yeah. Do you know? And it's like... You even... were just about to get a PLT deal. <laughs> you just missed it. <laughs> you were just about to get it. And Peter. what would you do? What would you do if I turned around and was like, pretty little thing of sign to I'm me I'm surprised Nasty Gal haven't like hopped on that to be honest Emer. <laughs> do you think because they're like oh we need a funky tattooed girl yeah, yeah absolutely are you joking a, yeah that is a bit of a buzz we're talking way too much about Instagram here <laughs> um, Instagram okay so I think we've I think in your tw- uh, 20s you're going through puberty all over again wait let me check if we're filming just to be sure just to be sure well first of all I just want to know in general I don't even know if I've asked you this before how have your 20s been my 20s have been amazing like I actually do you know what it's I feel like I've only started my business this year 
because when I look back at the start of my 20s they're all like a blur because I was like consistently out drinking consistently socialising partying mm. not taking anything seriously literally so sleep deprived I don't know how I did it like remember you used to text me being like go to bed like, yeah, I, used yeah. to, I used to be out all the time Yeah. but I think my 20s were really really fun and obviously I have loads more 20s left but loads more 20s <laughs> left so good <laughs> love <laughs> love um, but I just think that uh I'm this year I'm going through puberty all over again like I don't even know what to wear anymore I don't know what my dress sense is yeah. my skin's starting to get bad I'm like say for example my period is it's like I've just gotten my period for the first time ever this year oh. because I'm learning so much more about like the PMDD and like I'm learning more about my body and I feel like I genuinely feel like I'm going through puberty all over again I'm getting social anxiety I just don't know what it is I just think that there's a weird stage where you're in your 20s and you're like I am I an adult or am I still a kid yeah you yeah, know yeah I know what you mean I, that's how I feel um about my 20s what about you bit shy I'm joking <laughs> I just feel like the two of us have really like we take not to be like cringy we take life by the balls if you know what I mean no we I do. feel like I literally have le- lived about a thousand lives like I've done everything I wanted to do already yeah because I'm I wasn't scared to take risks mm. but I also like didn't understand consequences I suppose of course um whereas now and I feel like everything that my perception of the 20s is maybe redundant because I have a baby mm. so it's different where I feel like I'm not in my 20s anymore even though I still do feel like a teenager yeah and then it's real like because when I, I also for the past year I've been with the dressing like how am I supposed to dress myself I was yeah. real like in the mindset of I need to dress like a man now whereas I've only kind of come into my dress I noticed sense that now. yeah I um, noticed that and that's genuinely just because I have more time to think whereas like beforehand I was just wearing tracksuits and fleeces every day because I, I was just too tired whereas now I'm like I'm going to wear a fucking shirt and tie today yeah love yeah. I love that um, and yeah. I'm, lo- I'm feeling real confident and like this is what I'm supposed to be wearing and I feel stunning every day it mm. really makes a difference though on, on how you feel on a day-to-day basis if you're like I'm making the effort I'm putting in the effort to make myself look nice and feel nice yeah and it actually you know? does to be honest it really does help if you put in the effort because like I don't know like sometimes I do want to wear like I do every day most of the time wear stuff like this to work but it, when you're feeling say like periody or whatever you know the way like your skin feels different you're yeah. the way you like I always think like when I'm on my period or like when I'm in that weird rut I'm like my face looks different everything looks different and yeah. like I basically like underdress my is the word underdress like I yeah. I dress down because I don't have the confidence to dress up and if yeah. that can make you feel worse yes does that make sense but then sometimes I do you ever get when you're like oh I feel shit I'm gonna do myself up and you put makeup on and everything and you're like I look worse yeah ah! I know you like, break the mirror it's so and you're depressing like, ah, nothing will help me yeah yeah no I've had those phases before where it's just like you're so dependent on how pretty you feel like yeah. your happiness but yeah with the period thing just like the baggy getting comf comf yeah getting, getting, getting comf yeah fluffy socks on oh stretchy yeah. buttons yeah Getting no. comf is je- definitely the main thing. I'm bleeding so much today, which oh. is so weird. I like haven't bled this much in like a year. It's really strange. Oh. I feel like, okay, I, I don't want to sound all woohoo, but I really feel like this month or whatever, there's something is te- trying to teach me a lesson. Like I really think that the Instagram thing, because I was genuinely starting to get really paranoid about Instagram. Mm. I was starting to get really anxious about Instagram. I was starting to think about it a lot more, being paranoid of what I posted. Like remember we used to post whatever the fuck we wanted. And yeah, we'd, we'd literally of, be in our ninnies. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Now I, I like I started to get really paranoid about it. It started to trigger me a lot. A lot of intrusive thoughts came from Instagram. Yeah, and I just feel I'm looking at this as like all of this I'm like it's something's trying to teach me a lesson here and whatever it's doing it's working yeah because my mindset at the moment is like I can see it changing I don't know I just feel like this period is even different like I'm bleeding loads you're in it well it is Libra season is it flushing stuff out of me or like what's going on you're detoxing detoxing maybe it's so that you can be more in tune with your body and listen to your body with yeah, what's happening yeah 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 I think so because it's so weird like I have not bled like that in so long mm. and I was like I looked in the toilet bowl and I was like whoa but it felt kind of good like a release uh, yeah yeah oh. like something like from Stranger Things or do you know like oh. when like do you know in like scary movies when like the, the bad thing opens their mouth and like loads of blood shoots out of it 
Yeah. I'm in the middle of watching Stranger Things for the third time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I'm obsessed. But it's like all I can think about it. But it's, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like I'm like detoxing from something. There's something that I need to learn a lesson from. And it's, it's. I feel like it's in the mix. Okay, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So do you think you're you're coming to the, the conclusion now? I'm coming it's to. coming to you. There's a conclusion that's coming and I don't know what it is, but it's coming. Oh my God. It's, I'm really excited to know what it is. Yeah. Like even, like I've been just thinking about it and I've been thinking about, you know, again, re- 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 revolving back to the Instagram thing. It's like, that's a day to day thing that everyone do, do, does do. That everyone do. Every. <laughs> It's day to day everyone do. It's day to day things that everyone do. Yeah. And it's like, what if I just don't do that? What's the, do you know? What's that? Know. How is that gonna? Is it? It's gonna benefit me in some way. Yeah. You know. Yeah, definitely. You know. Oh, show. And um, it's just very interesting because we have the podcast to, you know, I'm out there enough as it is. Like yeah, I don't need yeah, Instagram. Yeah, yeah. You know. Sure, they know all the fart stories. Yeah, sure, they know how they know when I'm menstruating. Yeah, that's the right. Yeah, menstruating. Make, it's fifteen fifteen. Make a wish. I put on my story advice for your twenties. Right. Well, we'll delve in. Delve right in, and then we'll ask each other some advice. Okay. Yeah. Love. Yeah. I you. fucking love this. Oh, cringe is cool. Don't fret what people think about you. Now I have seen a lot of these millennials have been making TikToks, being like. Cringe is in, but like cringe has always been in, if you know what I mean. But I don't know, it's hard to explain. No, I'm loving cringe. Yeah, I think yeah. cringe is so. I, I know I really love it. But I don't like the word cringe though, because it's not cringy. It's just you're caring less about what people think. Good morning, Mr. Magpie. You have to say. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. What's with everyone in my life who has OCD and is obsessed with the magpie thing? <laughs> I and can't. as well the spitting the spitting on foreshores oh, there was God. someone in my in my past life that was very like literally obsessed with spitting on the foreshores every time we walked by them and then I was with them on Saturday and they were still doing it oh my god I no I didn't know this but you know if it, you know it's one for sorrow two for joy yeah I didn't know this but Emma Jane told me that if you say if you see one and it's sorrow you have to say good morning Mr. Magpie and then it, it cancels out the sorrow so like I'm like walking to work or like I'll, and I'll see one magpie and I say it out I'm like good morning Mr. Magpie I may say everyone thinks I'm Lula like <laughs> Lula but anyway sorry carry on the what cringe 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 I just don't like the word cringe I just hate that word so much because yeah. it's not cringy like obviously the cringy the, on the cringy scale and cringiness is subjective so to, to even blanket something as cringe while you're doing it is all in itself self-deprecating you know it's just not I just don't think it is just be your, just be yourself it's such yeah. a stupid advice but guys just have you tried being yourself yeah it's yeah but I guess as well um, do you know what I think COVID took took uh, the cringe out of a lot of things though because during COVID like if there was people who I never would have expected to step up on a camera and start speaking or like yeah. start doing like makeup tutorials or whatever I feel like COVID took a lot of cringe out of a lot of things because didn't TikTok start in like people put sort of yeah, yeah and I feel like like it still surprises me now when I hear or see of people that I know that are like dancing in TikTok videos and like I'd say like a few years ago I would have been like that's so embarrassing but now I'm like yes yeah. you know what I mean yeah. I'm like yes put that video up but you dance for me like oh if we physically cringe you know when you see something and you're like oh yeah it's it's not because we're embarrassed for that person it's just like I don't understand that level of confidence where you can't care what I care so much about mm. that oh it's all about insecurities and I've gone through phases of being like how are they doing that and my job is literally speaking on the internet and sometimes I go through phases where I'm like ah oh, yeah ah oh, you know yeah, even, listen, and then that's I, so even true. listening to myself talk I'm like oh I sound so fake or yeah something. even when that girl you know a girl came up to me on Saturday oh what she said she was like you sound like you're from the country. I know. I, 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 uh, and then and then your man goes, yeah, she, that's her performance voice though on the podcast. And I go, excuse me? Sorry, what? My performance voice. But I think it's because when we're together, we start to mould, our accents mould into each other. My mom said to me, and actually Kim and, uh, Kim and someone else said it to me, uh, Ashling, my sister, said it to me as well, that like when I say certain words, I sound like I'm from the country. And then my mom goes, ah, I think I know the I, country like it's just could be anywhere it could be what anywhere the country maybe? but like my mom was like oh I know she was like I think it's Keelan you're getting it off yeah and I was like 
What do you mean? And she's well, like, I don't think I do. I think I have a real poshy accent. Yeah, I think so too. I think I have one too. Yeah. Um, but it just it, just, it depends if, if I'm angry. It depends what I'm saying. Yeah. If depends. I'm angry, I'm yeah. like up no, the dubs. Through, if I yeah no, when I went through my fighting note phase. Your fighting phase. Fighting phase. If Fight. you know what I mean. Oh yeah with, yeah. With my ex. Yeah yeah of course. Be, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I'm. It just depends. Like, I feel like everyone's accents kind of adapt to whoever they're with. You know, the it's more just... time you spend with them, like, oh yeah, sure, like all the time. Like, you know, I think we all sound the same. Yeah, like yeah. all of like, yeah. like we all sound the same. But anyway, come on. Anyway, uh, more of it. Come on, come on. Try to love your body. Imagine being seventy and looking back at pics of you in your twenties for sp- perspective. So easier said than done than saying. No, in fairness, when I was like sixteen, seventeen, and I was crazy with insecurities because I was like oh my god my lips are so thin and I'm horrible or maybe younger 10 11 12 and I look back on those pictures and I still just feel sorry for myself I'm not looking back in those going oh I was actually so beautiful I think I was still rotten and I'm like <laughs> thank god I hit puberty fucking hell did you see my confirmation photo no, or my communion photo no. sorry everyone who's been in my house are like that's not you is this and I'm like yeah it is and they're like oh Okay, they're like Jesus. Mm. I'm like, oh, thanks. Like literally saying I was an ugly child, but I was an ugly child. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. It's like grand if you grow. You know, I can accept that I wasn't the best looking, and I felt shit about myself, and I still now feel shit about myself. And everyone's like, you're being mean to a child. I'm like, but it's me though. Yeah, but but it's, it's me. So I'm me. I'm allowed. And we didn't even have, imagine you had access to the internet though at that that age. I would be like Oh god ah, Well I kind of do Peeling my skin off <laughs> Peeling your I've said that That so much today Peeling mm. my skin off um, Well I kind of did But I, I My Zac Efron oh. Access to the internet Oh yeah <laughs> Whoa, Zac Efron Excuse kissing. me <laughs> Zac Efron kissing No Zac Efron Oh topless sorry <laughs> That was me who looked up Zac Efron and Zac Efron <laughs> Vanessa Hudgens kissing <laughs> Wait for your frontal lobe to fully form before making really big, big life decisions. But what if life throws you a big life decision before? You can't be like, hang on, I need to wait till I'm 25 and then I can give you an answer to this. You can't, you can't be doing that now. I suppose, now. I suppose. Don't worry about the future. Enjoy the buzz. Woo! Yeah, I love that. Can we go back to do sorry, what scares sorry, you? Sorry, do what scares you. Because, Keelan, think about this. Think about this, right? If you didn't... <laughs> Think about this. Think about this. Yeah. If you didn't put up a video of you on YouTube talking, is that how it started? <laughs> yeah. Um. Then, did that scare you at the time? Mm, no, I don't think so. Do you know I put a video? I don't think I cared because I didn't have any friends. So I was like, I'm not going to get slagged. I just want to do it. And so you just did it like... Yeah. Yes, well, that didn't scare you. I put up a video of me singing The Dog Days Are Over on YouTube before. No, you, Amer, you need to send me that. It's, it's gone. Ju- no. No, it's, it's gone. No. Am I bright red? No. Um. Yeah, I, that scared the shit out of me. I, no, 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 no. no. Like a, but do you want to give us a re- your rendition? No, 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 no. I'm so embarrassed about singing. It scares me so much. I love that, like... Just straight up covers. Like I actually still get shocked that people do that now. You know, on TikTok, I I scroll by and I saw someone do a, a cover, like just singing, and I was like, but like a cappella. No, you know, see? I mean, it's fair. You know, fair enough on the on the guitar, but like I love that. Let me just play the karaoke on my laptop. And let me sing this. Like I just, it's something real feminine and innocent about it yeah yeah I just love it do you know this? like my mum and dad got me an amp for my birthday yeah Sorry, for like yeah for like a birthday like maybe like when I was eight or nine and it was a proper plug-in amp like it would it would bo- blow the bollocks off you yeah and yeah, yeah. <laughs> Call the electrician like. like I wanted to be a singer When I was younger And then The minute anyone Would ever leave my house I'd like Run downstairs Plug in the amp Put on jar of hearts Like <laughs> Instrumental <laughs> And be in like In your field No like And be Belting it out But like the second Someone would come through the door I Like I'd have it unplugged And everything And I'd be so embarrassed about it But like I don't understand why Like I, I was so determined To be a singer When I was younger but like I still when I was in B- BIM in college like we'd have like a singing day you like you were there yeah, you know yeah. you know the way when you'd have to get up on stage I'd be like <coughs> I'm sick I always forgot the lyrics every oh. time I went up and they were like why didn't you had a week to learn this and I was like genuinely I have really tr- I, I almost was like I have a condition where I can't remember lyrics yeah. it's like really it's really hard it's li- so hard 
you are not behind. Stop comparing yourself. You are right where you are meant to be. I love that. Love. No, love that. I think in this season as well, specifically for our friendships, everyone is moving to Australia. Mm. It's like I'm still grass, like grasping. I literally meet someone and they're like, oh, I'm moving to Australia. I'm moving to Australia on I Wednesday. Know. I know. It's like, yeah. It's <laughs> Spencer. Spencer. <laughs> this is a shout out to Spencer. I love you. Yes. I've heard of so many people being like, oh my God, everyone's moving away. And then it actually hasn't hit me until you know people who have moved away. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. No, but for that, they just stop comparing yourself. With the no Instagram, I'd say that really helps. Oh my God, guys, it's unreal because you're not seeing like these stunning photos of people constantly. Like all of my like insecurities of like me wanting loads of fucking filler comes from Instagram. Yeah. Because I'll be yeah. like, how is her cheekbone so high? Or like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You, you're, you're analyzing people to the brim because you're, it's like all it is is a, a platform to promote nice photos, I guess isn't it yeah like of yourself or like obviously if you have a business and stuff it's different but like mm. a lot of the like a lot of my insecurities would definitely come from seeing really really beautiful gorgeous people and be like oh i wish i looked and like them put, literally it's like the best lighting the best day yeah that they look like <laughs> then i'm filter. like <laughs> checking carrie hannaby's <laughs> appointments appointments being like hmm mm. will i walk in you Going know back to the banking switching between bank account yeah. appointment making can i budget this for this month yeah no so, i'm like that with the botox now yeah because my face is just because i feel like i've aged five years from the no sleep no you haven't but um i think wait until you're 30 for the botox yeah do you know yeah um, like, but sure, obviously, do what you want. I'm. I would never judge. Jesus Christ, you know me. Judgment free zone. Yeah, this is this is a judgment free this zone. This is a safe space. Safe space. Safe space. Um, but uh, yeah, I find I'm so, and probably people who aren't even influencers. Like, I can only imagine because obviously I'm an I- influencer, so I'm comparing myself to the influencers. Yeah, and I'm I'd just say like, that's shit. How? Sorry, I'm so snotty. I'm just like how, and then they're going to all these fancy events and like getting their makeup done and you know going for a match going to going to Pilates and getting matches and I'm just at home like cleaning up snot <laughs> I'm like oh I'm like, maybe I should be doing this like yeah. I'm, I'm not but then again if I'm not on my phone I'm happy in, I'm so content and satisfied but it's just when I'm on my phone I'm like maybe I feel like I should be doing that and then I when I do go to those things and those events I'm like Awkward and yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah. Now I have gone to one lunch and it was great because I actually made friends at it. Because being in a being an influencer, guys, it's like lonely because you you're not talking to anyone all day. Yeah. You know, no, it's, a lonely, so. it's a lonely. It's a lonely profession. It's also as well like I'd say there's loads. Like sure, I've met a few influencers now and I'm like, you don't seem like you are at all online. You know. Yeah, but you were performing online. Yeah, but that's what I mean. So like when you're in a room with everyone, is it not so like I don't know how to act like. Or do you have to continue that like performance or can you be yourself? Oh yeah, that's interesting. I don't know. Do you know, like when you go to these things, are you <laughs> your country <laughs> your country <laughs> I'm putting my country accent on. Are you putting your country accent on or are you just Keelan? It's hard to know. Isn't it? Yeah, that's it's hard. It's such but, an interesting but one. But I feel like with other influencers they kinda of get it that you're only performing online. So they're not yeah. expecting anything big. Yeah. That's a very, very interesting one. Um, so I don't know. I don't but know, I, I feel imagine. like if you were with me at the events, like you'd be, the, We'd you're be having a buzz. You know, but you'd be yourself, yourself, like yeah. Like I think the Stella Awards kind of threw me over the edge. I was because, so shy at them though. No, like the Stella Awards threw me over the edge there because there's a load of people who are like obviously these massive influencers but are also so stuck up their own arses and I haven't a clue who e- either of them are mm. so it's like very hard to like understand that because it's like for me in that sense I don't know who you guys are I would have thought that there'd be like a you know yeah. a nice boundary that you'd say hi to everyone but I'm like oh no don't say hi to her she's there was blah a bit blah of, blah there was a bit of etiquette there what does that like, mean I mean, like an unspoken rule, sort of, that yeah. people weren't saying hi to each other. <laughs> it was so but any weird. any other event I've been to, everyone is so friendly and nice to each other. Yeah. Especially, like, the sit-down lunches, like, everyone's nice to each other, even if you don't know each other or not. Yeah, because you imagine you sitting at a table and not saying hi to someone. Yeah, like, I just, yeah, no, it's fine. It's, I think, yeah. It's a bit Sorry. mad, like. You will need to get yourself a little treat often. Oh. Oh, absolutely. Sorry. Are you joking? 
We always get ourselves a little treat. No, my for my birthday weekend, I had a McDonald's breakfast on the Friday morning. Did you? Yeah, and then Yum. on Saturday, I had I got a drive through McDonald's. Love. And then on Sunday, you were hungover. Were you hungover? I was hungover. My mom got chipper chips and made a homemade curry. Oh, oh my, my god. god. And then on Monday evening, I had a KFC. Now that gave me the shits. Sorry, finger licking goodness. <laughs> that gave me the shits. And like, I had to apologize when I came out of the bathroom. Where did you go? Who did you have? Did you have that on with your Ellie, own? With Ellie. Oh, with Ellie. With Ellie. With Ellie oh, I'd say Ellie fucking loved that fried chicken. Yeah, no, she, she loved, loved it. That. She loved it. Yeah, a few people said, start saving now. And I know that the people who texted in were are, are actually in their 30s. So this is like genuine regrets that they have. Okay. So someone here says, saving for retirement or anything, even if it's only five euro a week, wish I started sooner. And then someone else said, start saving for a house now, even if you're not planning on buying because I'm, I needed every penny. Whoa. And yeah. Okay. It's so fucking, it's actually, that is anxiety inducing. <laughs> anxiety, anxiety. Anxiety, anxiety inducing anxiety inducing because yeah. it's just like but it's so expensive do you know I paid for um a bottle of fizzy water and a small mocha with oat milk today guess how much it was Seven year- eight, 8 euro no yeah yeah and I was like no inflation's gone cray cray I was like oh my I'm god and food shops are my thing like I'm obsessed with the grocery shop I want to browse especially because B loves the trolley like it's a it's a yeah. whole novelty for her so she's fucking loving pointing at things and saying hi to people yeah. so I'm loving food. I've always loved a food shop it's like yeah. my favourite thing and that's where like you can spend what you want because you're getting food whereas yeah. now I'm like Jesus Christ I can't, I'm like scared to go to Dunn's and oh. that's all the nice stuff is oh my god Sorry. Do you know what I mean? It's like it's crazy. crazy. Oh, oh, jinx. Have you, do you have a Tesco club card? Because, oh my God. No, Emer, but you know that that's a scam. Yeah, well, I that figured. The club card, that's just how things are supposed to be priced, but they just inflate the normal price then. Yeah, so I didn't know this. So basically, Ryan had one of these little cards on his keys, right? But you can get it on your phone. Oh, he's old school. <laughs> <laughs> are you jo- are you joking? <laughs> he's he's like, had this thing. The phone. He's had this thing since the nineties. <laughs> so he had this little card, and uh, he'd always go, "Watch this," and like he'd scan the card, and then it would go whoop, and like oh, the yeah, price yeah, would yeah. go down. So I was always like, "Oh my god, a magic card!" So but you think you're getting a bargain, but it's like normal. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm in Tesco like two weeks ago, and I went up to your, I went up to one of the people that were standing, uh, just standing around, and I was like, "Hi." where can I get a Tesco club card? <laughs> they were like, um, on your phone, on, on the app. And I was like, oh, okay. I thought you actually had to have the physical card. Yeah. So I'm walking around and I'm like, oh my God, this is a buzz. I can't wait to send Ryan a video of me swiping the thing. And then the money goes down. Literally a euro came off. And I was like, I'm going around picking all the things that it says with Tesco club card. Yeah. And it's literally a scam. Like it's a scam. <laughs> And we scam. all fall for it. I know we, we all, all fall, fall for it. My mom then, when I told her about it, she was like, "That's a scam." And I was like, "Yeah, mm. well, I figured that after I bought about Fuck fifty Tesco. quid Fuck euros, them. fifty quid euros." Lidl is the only actually uh, affordable alternative. I Lidl, think. little Lidl, Lidl. I'm pretty sure it's Lidl. Al- Aldi as well. Al- Aldi and Lidl are the same. I don't like Aldi. The, the selection's not great. We're literally talking about supermarkets. Um, okay, no, change, sorry. Um, no, Lidl's definitely my favourite. Okay. Lidl, if you're watching this. I love this. Surrender to the fact that you'll be continually self-learning for the rest of your life. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. You're always learning, learning about everything. Mm. Like, I'm only learning about my body recently. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's yeah. things that I'm only learning now about my body. Things that I'm only learning about, like myself but so exciting the opportunity to learn about things how much time we have to know yeah. and it's also like you know when you're making mistakes in life you know you can be like fuck's sake like why did I do that like or you know you make mistakes with anything and it's like we're so hard on ourselves when we make those mistakes because we're like what the fuck why did I do that I'm so stupid but in, at the mm-hmm. end of the day like you didn't know yeah you didn't yeah, fucking bottom, know bottom line but, bottom line you didn't know sorry, black and white what can you do <laughs> straightforward <laughs> Black and white, like you, d- <laughs> you didn't know, like. No, how was I supposed to know? No, how was I supposed to know? Especially after I went through a breakup, I was like, I'm a fucking failure. You know, when you're just like everything fails, and then I was how like, was oh, I know? actually, how was I supposed to know that things would turn out like that? No, but like, there's literally no way for me to predict that it no. was going to turn. No, L- literally, how was I supposed to know? Do you know what? Don't knock it till you try it. You know. 
Don't, oh, don't but, actually try it. But you know what I mean? Mm. Like, if you want to do something, fucking do it. And yeah. if it doesn't work out, it doesn't fucking work yeah, out. Yeah, it doesn't and matter. I'm, like. I'm ranging from, if you want to try cook fucking lamb chops for the first time, or if you want to date You're someone. obsessed with lamb. <laughs> you love lamb. You're going to start a lamb <laughs> restaurant. Do you know, for Ryan's birthday card, um, I did a poem. and Oh, yeah, I showed you the poem. Uh-oh. No, sorry. For Ryan's birthday card. Remember I did the <laughs> it rhymes with um it rhymes with lamb. Lamb. Rack of lamb. Ra- it rhymes with rack of lamb. So I, at the end so I got him a trip to Amsterdam and I was like at the end of it I was like, um, so can you guess what your present is? It rhymes with a rack of lamb and then I <laughs> did a little envelope and I was like, Yep, you got it, we're going to Amsterdam <laughs> Oh no, that's very cool. Amsterdam. Sorry. I could have Very... a few blunts. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Have I have a few funny things. No, I'm sorry. I have such tainted, tainted memories of Amsterdam. I just don't necessarily enjoy it. Oh. So I'm really happy to go back with him to like change that perspective yes, of us. That's a good yeah. Is it that's sorry. brilliant? Sorry. That's so mature, isn't so it? So mature. So mature. Yeah, you're like, I'll try it again. Don't knock it till you try it. D- again. <laughs> Giving second chances. Don't knock it until you try it. That's gonna. Should we get that tattooed? Yeah, maybe. Don't knock it till you try it. Get health insurance if you can. Sorry, my stepmom is obsessed with health insurance. I will say though, the ch- children getting free GP GP visit cards or whatever from the age of zero to seven, so good, so handy. Like because you, it would stop. Because when I w- lived in the UK with the NHS, I was more inclined to go to the doctor about things if I had something wrong with me. Whereas in Ireland, if I'm like. It's grant and blow it, over. Is it free? Because I don't pay. Is it it's free? free in the NHS. To go to the doctor? Yeah, because remember I got tested for diabetes. Yeah. Remember because my vagina was burning. I oh, got burning vagina. It, wait, o- over in London? Over in London. It was so weird. I had this burning sensation in my vagina. Randomly in the middle of the night I'd wake up and I'd be like, ah! It felt like my vagina was literally on fire. And, and I'd be crying. And that's thing of diabetes. It was something to do with the dehydration. I, I don't know. Anyway, they tested me for diabetes and I don't have it. But yeah, it was so it was so good. Because I would be going to the doctor. And that's when I contacted about getting tested for, for ADHD as well. I should the NHS wait so your vagina burns if you have diabetes oh no is it your health OCD <laughs> no coming? yeah because I'm just like no, no but like my vagina isn't burning but I'm just like no, thinking I, of the times that maybe my vagina has burnt but no, like no I had uh, sorry they tested my pee then when because this went on up until I got pregnant oh, and then they were okay. like you have some sort of weird bacteria in your urine so I just had to like basically drink loads of water <laughs> was oh. the cure they were like just drink loads oh, of water grand. and then it went away have you tried having a glass of water <laughs> have you tried going for a walk have you tried having a glass <laughs> but yeah I was literally sucking back the doctors I was like here I actually have something wrong with me and I'm gonna get help right now yeah it but the really thing good. is we can't afford to do that now. no here in, in Ireland I literally I haven't gone to the doctor since like I got my vagina looked at yeah and I haven't gone back because I don't want to get I don't want to pay for a gynecologist yeah like, no literally. that's that's the thing like even when I went back to get that PMDD diagnosis I was in the doctors for like 10 minutes and I had to pay 250 euro what yeah because it's a specialist she's a specialist isn't that crazy no, I do have health insurance, so I could get half of it back. But like, it's still like money. Jesus, that's yeah, two hundred and fifty euro for like a ten minute Jay, appointment. Jesus Jay. Christ! It says you don't have to move to Australia to be happy. Love, <laughs> no, like just love. what we needed. Love, just what we needed. But like as well, like everyone's like uh, persistent on like moving out of Ireland to be happy. But like sometimes I feel like people are just running away from themselves. A lot of people in London are just running away. Yeah, it's just like the- <laughs> I love how you. Pain point. London uh, but that's where I live yeah so no I know, but that's I know, so I, know I, the experience, I get but, it and it's not affordable to live in London loads of my friends are moving away mm. and I'm like not triggered by it but I'm like I, it's just this weird thing where I'm understanding everyone else's con like the way people are thinking because it, just for a second I was like should I should I be doing that and then I'm like no what? you feel left out yeah. but like it's like it's like but like they're all even going to different places it's not even to do with like they're all going to London or something but it's like in my head I was like oh god like everyone else is doing this so should I not do it and I feel like Irish people are definitely like sheep like they jump on the bandwagon a lot mm, do you know yeah and it's like oh well if they're going I'm gonna go as well like if you jumped off a cliff I'd probably jump off a cliff too 
No, so I like, would love the sunny weather in Australia. Oh my God, are you love. joking? I would love that. But like, Gorge. I'm also just, do you know what's so weird? I keep thinking about people's parents and I'm like, oh my God, I just, oh, I don't know. I just have this like fear of like my parents being old. I think everyone gets mm-hmm. that fear, but I just don't want to be away from but them. you've had the experience of your parents being sick, so it's also yeah, different. Yeah, that is so true. That is so true. So like, I just don't want to be away from my parents mm-hmm. that I'm like, Australia is so far for me that I'm like, I don't want to live that far away from my mommy and yeah. daddy. Well, I, yeah, I don't want to do that to my daughter either. She's yeah, like, she loves being know? around the fam. Imagine the second she turned 19, I'm going to Australia. Yeah, no, she probably will. Like, <laughs> Probably will. Look after your body. You only get one. Work out, eat well, take vitamins, supplements, do yoga, stretch every day. That's just You're even, like, oh. That's just a bit. Too much. Do you know what? I have a fucking brilliant one. Oh, go on. I have a fucking brilliant one. Another one, budget. Stop setting fucking rules for yourself. Stop giving out to yourself because you, you know, slept in and missed yoga. That's fine. You can do yoga tomorrow. I Yoga's say, not going to go away. I will say... I will say the sleep thing if you want to sleep in I'd say definitely do it if you feel like your body needs it definitely sleep in if you want to take a fucking day off you know I took I'm taking a mental health day tomorrow love I'm taking taking a mental health day tomorrow and I've been so up the walls I've been working six days for the past I'm sorry if I didn't take tomorrow off I would have been working seven days this week no that's not good so I was like no I'm taking a mental health day tomorrow and you know I was feeling so guilty about it and I was going fuck's sake I'm like no if I want to do that I'll do it and if you can do it do it you know if you're in a position where you can take a mental health day do it also sleep in have that chocolate bar have the fucking crisps like the world's gonna end soon anyway so just do what you want to do you know yeah text that person text that person ask me on a date rekindle that friendship with someone tell me if you love me yeah like reach out to someone rekindle that friendship with someone you could have had a weird thing or you could have distanced yourself from someone when you didn't even mean to and you're thinking about them all the time Text also them. forgive people because holding being angry and holding resentments is it, it actually takes a lot more energy out of you it's, than it's exhausting like yeah, it, it, is, it is really exhausting. exhausting and i just think that um in your 20s like all of this shit comes up and it's just like you know next thing you know you're gonna be 50 you know okay <laughs> ah! okay bye guys <laughs> bye